Oh, Raul, come on, do it. Now, get out of the way. Come on, now. Raul, get to the chopper. Raul. Get to the chopper. Raul. It's probably the easiest one to do. Anyway. So here we go, we're on our way to London. Um, what can I tell you, what can we talk about? We had a load of rain, that happens. Beautiful Peak District. If you're ever in the Peak District, it's lovely, you'll enjoy it. Go for a walk, there's lots of hills. I love it here. Obviously we've moved up from Essex. Oh, shut up! It's true, we've moved up from Essex. And uh, it's a, you know, it's weird when you move, when you leave a place where you've lived all your life. I mean, we've moved, we've moved house a lot, and you guys will know if you've read my bio and stuff. Been in Brazil, God's put us some really interesting places. Uh, but there's something about Essex, I love it, and I love living here. Don't get me wrong, the Peak District, wow, amazing place to live, just awesome. To bring up kids, to just be amongst the scenery like this is, is awesome. But whenever I go back to Essex, it feels like I've gone home. It feels like I'm home. My mates, the 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 place, the way it looks, the people, there's something about it, isn't it? I wonder if you feel that. If you've moved away from where you live and you, where you were brought up, does it still hold memories? Is it still that place where you, you think, yeah, this is, this is my home, isn't it? Anyway, so that's me, Essex. Um, I haven't got a lot to say this morning, because like I say, it's a bit early for me. And we're on our way to the train station. I, lo I missed my train the other day, on the way back from London. Missed it by about 30 seconds, couldn't believe it. I don't like being late for stuff, that's one of my, one of my things. I like to be on time or a little bit early. Um, and I, I'm, I'm often late for stuff and it really drives me mad. Uh, but there you go. So let's talk quickly, while we're driving, let's just talk quickly about the Ironman that I'm going to be doing. So this is about a grand challenge. Now if you haven't heard about this, this is something that we do at CVM. <clears throat> and guys, you can get involved in this. It's not just a staff thing. But we do something called a Grand Challenge. Now Beachy, he set quite a high standard. He, he raised the bar really quite high. Um, and he's a very fit man. Uh, and he, he's got this thing where he can just push himself. He'll just, he'll just keep running or he'll just keep cycling. He just won't stop. Now I'm a little bit different. I, I feel the pain <laughs> and I give up <clears throat> sometimes. But <clears throat> I decided to take on this challenge. So Grand Challenge. So what it is, we raise a grand of monies, monies for CVM, thousand pound. And uh, we do that by putting ourselves through, well, pain basically, and physical endurance. Now last year, <coughs> I did a triathlon, actually here in Chatsworth. So it was here, it was a swim, obviously, a ride and a run, and I'd never swam open water before, I swam in the sea but never swam open water in a wetsuit. Very different experience. Uh, and I'm not a fit fella. I, I'm generally in good shape. I can do the weights and stuff, but stamina and cardio, oh my word, trouble. Big trouble. So I came last in this triathlon, which is fine, because what you say to yourself is, at least I'm having a go. I'm not on the sofa, am I? I'm out there, I'm having a go. Which is what, one of my things. So. I decided to do a grand challenge. Oh, okay, brakes. See, if I was on the motorbike here, fellas, I'd be looking now. No, I wouldn't obviously go because there's a car coming. <clears throat> anyway, <coughs> so the grand challenge, uh, Ironman. So I've signed up for the gauntlet, which is half the distances of the Ironman. So that the Ironman series uh, can offer you a gauntlet, so I've taken the gauntlet challenge, thrown the gauntlet down, Castle Howard in York in, at the end of July. Now I've got to do a mile swim in open water, I've got to do, after that I think it's like a 50 mile bike race, um, and then after that it's straight into the half marathon run. 
Uh, and at the moment, my training schedule, and I am training to be honest with you, I'm not doing really well, uh, but I'm having a go and I'm trying to get out three days a week. I'm trying to get up to sort of 10, 12K at the minute, which is what, six, seven miles? Uh, I've obviously got a lot to do. And there, there is a moment in me, at the, you know, going on that I think, what have I done? This is a huge mistake. Um, not only is it going to be quite a public mistake, uh, but, you know, I, I want to be a success. I'm, I'm following Beachy and his successful Snowdonia marathon run where he ran up Snowdonia, did a marathon up and down Snowdonia. Like, he, he does these mad mountain bike rides that last forever. And marathons, he done a marathon the other day and then just went out and did a half marathon as well for fun. But that's not fun for me. I, that's not fun. I don't enjoy running. I know he doesn't either, but he, he smashes it. Anyway, so that's where we're at. <clears throat> I've got to up my game and I've got to get my run game going. A little bit nervous, if I'm honest, because I, I think that's where I'm going to struggle. Cycling, to be honest, most if you can ride a bike, I don't mean to disrespect any of you hardcore cyclists out there, but I can ride a bike. Okay, it's not going to be easy. It'll be uncomfortable, but I can ride a bike, so I'm hoping to make up some time on that. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. So I've got to work on that. This corner here is sweet because you look at it and you think, oh, that looks quite tight. But if you keep it in there, look, bang, no need to break. I'm still within the speed limit, fellas. There's no need to report me. It's a 60 up here, but I like that corner. That is awesome. It's one of my favourite corners on the bike. So, uh, yeah, Iron Man, the gauntlet, that is going to be full on. And there'll be some videos of that as we go um, and some more info, but. At the moment, fellas, I'm just running. I'm just trying to run. So if you've got any advice for me, if you've got any tips on how to run a triathlon to train, if you're an expert swimmer, if you're an expert runner, if you're an expert cyclist, I want to hear from you. Because um, some of the tips I've heard is like, if you're swimming the triathlon, so this, obviously the open water swim, uh, what I've seen is a lot of guys just do arms in the water, very little with the legs to conserve energy in the legs for the ride and the run. Very interesting, I like that. So it's things like that, that unless you hear about, my legs would be going flat out just to keep me keep me afloat in the water. Um, so there you go. Um, I'm probably running out of material now. Oh, he's gonna go, no, cool. I'm running out of material now, stuff to talk about, so it's probably a good time to switch off because it gets a bit boring, though. <laughs> Fellas, I'm in London. I'm with a mate of mine, Matt Shaw Clark. Hello, hey mate. Guys, how are you? So I'm with Matt. We're in London. Matt, you you lift a lot of weights. I do. What uh, what's your favourite exercise? Leg press. Leg press. Yeah. What could you lift on the leg press when you were in your prime, really going for uh, it without an injury? 450 kilos. 450. Yeah. That's a lot of weight. It is. I can. I feel sure, sure my knees could take that. <laughs> so we're in London. We're having a chat now. You're a Christian. I am. So that means you're following Jesus I Christ. What does that look like for you? Exciting, fantastic, fulfilled, joy. Why Jesus? Though? What's he done for you? Uh, Jesus completely transformed my life. I mean, I, I look like the bouncer and criminal I used to be. Yeah. Jesus took me from a life of pain and suffering into a life of joy and happiness. Come on. Right, an important question. Yeah. Top three Arnold Schwarzenegger films. Oh, Come Predator. On. Predator, I knew it. Commando. Yeah. Oh, yes. And. Yeah, go on, surprise People me. won't necessarily get this one. Last Action Hero. Interesting, a good choice. <laughs> I wouldn't have gone there, but nice. No. Very nice, mate. Oh, oh, no, swap that one. Terminator. Cool. Terminator. Cool. Good man, good yeah. man. Right, let's finish on a high. Favourite okay. favorite Bible character? You can't uh, say Jesus, that's obvious. Paul, the Apostle Paul. Apostle Paul. Yeah, it's got to be. Why? I'll tell you what, you, you take a man that was a religious sir, full of righteous anger and violence, yeah. and you counter Jesus in such a radical way, yeah. that nothing would stop him preaching the gospel. That's how I feel. That's awesome. Max, your car, please.